My name is Foxhound. Uh, I've been DJing for quite a while now, and uh, what I do is I just take music that you guys all enjoy, that I enjoy, and just put it together to make it super awesome. For Well, I've always been into creative arts and music, um, and I thought that I wanted to do something with art and when I went to school. Like, basically, um, I ended up doing more music there anyways, and then uh, I think it took going to Wild Blue Rose, seeing Dead Mouse, and you know, just watching him drop that hand and then seeing like this whole crowd of people jump. I was like, okay, whatever he's doing, that's what I want to do. <laughs> I want some of that. Um, like, real aggressive, like, we like to get real heavy, and we like to fucking go hard, you know? We like to really put in, uh, put in an honest hour's worth of raging, you know? We like to really... Expect to see me raging just as hard as everybody else in the room. Like I'm not the type of person to like, you know, just stand there and be like, yeah, ooh, yeah. You know, like when when I'm in it and I'm feeling it with you guys, like it's the same thing on, on my end too. You know. Um, definitely Dead Mouse, like I said before, uh, and the more research I did on, on him and the more that I like learned about what he does and like what came about and how he came about and all this stuff, like, just really, that's what inspired me, was like, you know, that type of mentality and, um, you know, like Skrillex, of course, and, you know, all the big names and, I don't know, I have Uzi for sure, Uzi for sure, that's the number one right now, I love that dude, he's fucking dope, he's so good. I don't know. I don't like to. I don't like usually like to set like hold oh, on better this this and that and eat better because this and that. I just like I don't know. We all play the music. I think what separates me in in a different regard though is that like you know it's just a little bit. It's the same thing that you hear everywhere else. It's just that Vine's just a little bit more hype and like aggressive and like energetic. You know that's the that's the only difference. You know what I mean? Same same stuff, different package. You know. Buku, then Uzi, and then Skrillex, and it's like a, kind of like a weird put together show, but those are, those would be my top three for sure, my top three. Uh, yeah, I've just been sitting in the studio working on music like a lot, and you know, I'm just one of those people I just, you know, when it's ready it'll come out, you know, but it's probably going to take some time, I really want to put some time into it, I mean I used to make a lot of music and just put it out, put it out, put it out, put it out. And um, you know, now I'm just taking my time with it and really concentrating like a certain type of feel and sound, you know. I want everyone to be able to recognize like, you know, that's Foxhound, you know, like everyone says that's Sed Mouse or that's Uzi or that's whoever, you know. <laughs> yeah, it's a definitely a question I get on the daily, but um honestly it's just it's just all hard work. I mean, I go to one guy for pretty much everything, and then I just go, you know, just come up with some designs. You know, I just want to have hard work on my body. And it doesn't like it, the only thing it relates back to me is just that it's art, and I appreciate art, and it's on my body. That's like how it all ties together. Awesome. Happy. Uh, yeah, those two for sure. Well, I think I think perception is everything. I think it's all about what you think it is. And uh, I don't know if for a success for me it would just be, 
you know, being able to do what I love and be able to support myself with it, I feel like that's successful. I don't need to be, you know, you know, two million fans more than Skrillex or something like that. Like, you know, I have to keep going. But like, I'm still gonna have a mentality at the same time. Like, it's not my main focus. This is Foxhound, and uh, I hope you got a little piece of who I am.